Hello everybody, Megalithic here, and today we're going to take a look at buying the barrage that came part of the Doomsday Heist sometime last Christmas. Okay now, here we go. Right, the barrage can be found on the Warstock Cash and Carry website, and there we go, we can see it right there. Now, this vehicle normally retails for a price, as you can see it, $1.6 million, although I'm picking it up right now to steal it just over the million. Okay, there we go. Now I'm having it delivered to my uh, facility, I believe, and all that remains now is to wait for it to be delivered. Okay, it should be being delivered somewhere over there, I believe, and now we're just waiting for it. Okay, well, here we go. The barrage has been delivered to the facility, and let's take a quick look around it, shall we? Okay, now, first things first, one may wonder why one would buy this vehicle at all, and I must say I do agree with you. Uh, compared to something like the Insurgent, which is much more heavily armored, the only benefit that this particular vehicle can be seen to provide is the use of a second machine gun that has a very limited shooting arc. Okay, now we've got inside the barrage and it's time to go and modify the vehicle. Now this can be done in the Avenger, but I believe currently I am not in possession of such a vehicle and so I'm going to take it over to my bunker here and into the back of my MOC or Mobile Operation Center if you so prefer. Okay then, well here we go, driving into the bunker. And jolly good. Righty, oh, now here we are, we've pulled inside the bunker, and it, whoops a daisy, okay, driving across the trolleys there, don't you know, yes, this is rather a large vehicle, okay, now let's take it into the MOC and have this vehicle modified, right here, and now we go into the MOC. Okay, now we have speeded up the gameplay here to move things along somewhat, but as you can see, we're going through the usual upgrades. We've applied the armor, we've applied the brakes just there, and now we're going on to the more unique additions to this particular vehicle. You can see we have an option for windows there, and I've applied, I believe, nothing at all. Okay, right there, now there are some uh, additions to the front bumper to be made, as you can see we're going through here. now. It is always worth remembering, if one does wish to put armor plating on some side of the windows, it will limit your ability to fire guns out of the vehicle. That is to say that if you put some sort of mesh netting across the doorway there, you won't be able to poke your arm out to shoot. Now, generally speaking, this shouldn't be a problem because this particular vehicle comes with two huge machine guns mounted on top. But if you are intending to drive it alone, that may be something that you want to keep in mind. Okay, now as you can see, there really are rather a lot of options for this particular vehicle. Rockstar seem to have gone all out in trying to impress us and have failed dramatically, I must say, because this vehicle really is no comparison to something like the Insurgent. Okay, right then, now we're going through the engine here and yes, we got some number of exhaust options there. Okay then, right, right here, yeah, I think that'll... Yes, I quite like that. Those are quite nice too, I'm not too sure to be quite honest with you. Okay, now we're moving on to the hood, and as you can see, there are rather a number of options there, but I don't like any of them, to be quite frank with you. I think I shall keep the hood uh, perfectly clear of any obstructions, so if I choose to go into first person, it will not in any way inhibit my driving ability, which is limited at the best of times. Okay, now we're going on to the liveries, or the liveries, and I think, as usual, I will go on to the uh, three-color outline there. Okay, there we go. Rather shocking, isn't it? But that's how I choose to paint many of my vehicles when they are for the facility. Okay, crew color and uh, that particular type of camo. Yes, I think that will do. Okay, jolly good. Right then, now it's time for the, uh, the more serious matters. This vehicle comes equipped with two 50 caliber machine guns, front and rear, one front, one rear as you can see, and they can be upgraded to miniguns. The rear can be uh, upgraded to carry a grenade launcher there as well. Now, I have uh, been reliably informed that despite the desire to upgrade the vehicle to the miniguns, the 50 caliber machine guns are apparently superior. Okay then, here we go. Now you can see that we've put the side meshing on there. I've decided that to hell with shooting out the window, I shall only take this particular vehicle out when I have friends to provide me with some support from the roof-mounted 
machine guns. Okay, now we're going to go back through these options here just to give you another sneaky chance to have a peek at them. And here we go. Okay, I'm not entirely decided what I'm going to go for yet. And I do believe the video cuts out in just a moment, so never mind. Okay, there we go. Right, okay, a number of ammo boxes, I believe. Uh, some sort of storage at the front. I really couldn't care less. Okay, now looking at the back of the car, we have a number of rear panels, as you can see, from a solid and armored all the way through to open bars. Okay, then here we go. Now we have more plating down the side, and once again, it's a combination of plating and bars, and as you can see, some sort of roll cage type structure there. Okay, then. I do quite like how that looks, though. Yes, I, I do quite like the mesh looking on the windows there, and uh, I think perhaps the armor down the side. Okay, now while I do rather like having a lot of modification options to apply to one's vehicle, the only downside is it makes these uh, videos rather long, you know. Okay, now we're looking at the very rear of the vehicle there, and once again there are a number of... Uh, different options that one can apply and I think that's what I shall go for. Okay, we're looking inside the vehicle now. I believe if you can just see uh, that rear parcel shelf and there are once again a number of options. You've got the tire, you have it open, you have bars and you have a box I believe. There may have been a, another option there. Okay, back on the exhausts are we? Okay, clearly I haven't settled my mind. I do quite like those two though, the one at the top and the one at the side. The only problem with the one at the top of course is that it doesn't really show that well. So. I am undecided, but it may give one a greater advantage in water, I'm not entirely sure. Frequently, when the exhausts are placed higher on the vehicle, it gives the vehicle a greater capacity to, or a greater ability, should I say, to uh, negotiate deeper waters. Okay, but as you can see, I've gone for the more visible outlets on the side there, because they do look rather jazzy. Okay, then. Right here, oh, now we're taking a look here down through this list, and I think we're coming close to the end, you know. Bulletproof tires, yes, I think I'll keep the wheels the way they are. Okay, well, let's take it outside and see how she handles. Now, this is the barrage. It has been fully upgraded, as you have seen, in regards to engine braking and all other aspects, really. We haven't upgraded the weapons, but I am led to believe that the 50 caliber machine guns carry a more destructive power than the minigun. Okay, now I've put it into cinematic mode for driving here, and I've got no idea why, because it really does never produce the best results. Okay, here we go. Now, we're just going to take it for a quick little spin and see how she handles. Okay, what's her off-road ability like? Not too shabby, to be quite honest with you. Okay, well, jolly good then. That is the barrage, and I think I shall take it now back to my facility. Okay, of course, the only real downside with this particular vehicle is to test it properly. One really does need a couple of friends to let rip with those machine guns, as that is largely the point of this particular vehicle. So I think that's what we shall go and do right now. Okay, then, now I've hopped on over to my yacht, and ah, if it isn't my good friend Mr. Raccoon here to meet me. Okay, hello, Mr. Raccoon, how are you doing? Now all we need to do is to wait for my other friend to arrive, and what shall we do to kill the time? What shall we do? Well, yes, why Why not phone up a la- Oh, okay, my friend's here. Okay, well that really is rather awkward. Yes, I think we shall have to postpone that until another day. Ah, hello, my darling. Right then, okay then, well, we're all here, it would seem. Let's crack on, shall we? We're going outside now, Pug Raccoon and my other good friend there, and we're heading across to the beach, and yes, the raccoon's already waiting for us, isn't he? Okay, now we've got to the beach, I called in my barrage, and now it's arrived, all we need to do is to take it out for a test run, and see how it handles with a crew of gunners on board. Okay, now, looks like the raccoon's going into the back, my good friend there is going into the front, and well, here we go, let's take it off the beach, onto the road, and See what happens there. Okay, here we go. Right, there we go. They're letting rip with the machine guns, don't you know? Okay, it got spun around a little bit there, never mind. Right, let's crack on, shall we? See what happens. See if the police can stop us. Yes, we've already attracted a star look there, but we don't seem to be uh, encountering much difficulty at present. 
Now, as you can see, the amount of firepower that's been laid down there really is quite significant. And both of those machine guns, whoops a daisies, okay, we're going in the sea, aren't we? Okay, never mind, test over, right, yes, we're, right. Okay, we, okay, that really was rather lucky. Managed to uh, splash down into the sea there, but didn't quite get uh, submerged enough to completely destroy the vehicle. Okay, well, whoops a daisies, almost in again, you know. Well, I suppose we can see this as a, another chance to test the off-road abilities of this particular vehicle, and as you can see, the barrage has been able to pull itself off the rocks there with no problem whatsoever. Okay, now we've got two stars after us, my friends have opened up with the machine gun, so let's see what the coppers can do. Right, we've got those two stars up to three stars, as you can see, the police making some effort to stop it. Whoops, the days is what's going on here. Oh, how about that? I've managed to mount a police car. Squeal like a piggy. Ha ha ha. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, whoops a daisies. Oh dear, oh dear. It looks like my friend has been thrown from the car. And I've managed to kill the raccoon. Yeah, I know. It's your EA. Well, I really think you should check out this vehicle cargo opportunity and the secure. Yes, now's not the time, I think. Okay, well, so we've established one thing there, which is your friends can be thrown from the barrage if you crash it. That really is worth bearing in mind. I have absolutely no idea how the Raku managed to get killed and all of that, but it did state quite clearly that I was the one responsible for his death, and no doubt he will hold that against me. Okay, now we've made it down to the top of Los Santos here, as you can see, and the police really are putting up more of a, a fight at trying to stop us. But uh, I don't think we're going to allow that to dissuade us. Whoops, a daze is okay, another crash, I'm afraid. Right, okay, never mind, we'll keep on pushing on. Right, head up into the Vinewood Hills, I think. Why not? Now, as you can see, this vehicle really is quite good. Nothing stops it, really. It just wants to keep on going. And it is a little bit lively. It flips around, as you can see, a little bit spinny sometimes. But it really is quite good fun if you and a number of friends want to go on a rampage. Okay, I've put it backwards there, haven't I? Well, this seems like a good time to end the video on the barrage.